Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Trade down pretty heavily. This is exactly what we were talking about. This is the different lane priorities. Shashu trading well here. This is going to look very different as soon as the next empowered Q is up. Is he oh, going to survive oh, through to oh. it? There it is. The Q heal. Nice slice and dice. He's going to go for the W. Flashes. Oh, he, he. he gets it. One more Q with the knockback. Here's Nayo, though. He wants to flash, get the kill here. He's going to oh, not hit the w. w. The burn, the auto attack. It's enough for first blood for RA. Oh, and Weiwei Wei can't hit the knockup either. Especially later on. But you see LNG are just going to go ahead and start up the dragon. Again, level 6 is here. Needs to be careful. Dominus for ult. Zika is going to be in a little bit of a slice and dice situation here. He's getting low. Nios coming up to claim another kill. And you were talking about fried crocs. Well, we're about to get a little bit more of that. And RA are eating good tonight. Another kill goes to Nio. Oh, man. Nio getting really fed off this top side. And that is a problem. What it really managed to get much out of it. They managed to get that control and they managed to get some vision, but not much beyond that. Ults again in top side. No Dominus yeah, this time. Yeah, I know that's what I was going to say. He doesn't have Dominus. He's getting a little bit low and there's a solo bolo for Shaoshu and a third death for Zika. Get moving towards this bot side again. There is an opening for Weiwei to steal away a couple of camps or look for a dive. Dive would be quite dangerous. I really feel like it's just better to start hoovering through these camps as this Bellbath. Might have lost yeah. the opportunity though. I'm curious at the lack of priority around the uh, grubby tubbies, but we'll see a dive anyway, so they'll just take down Xiaoxi under turret and make it out alive with a giant minion crash down there. Uh, Xiaoxi not able to um, get himself out with a flash or use the CC to lock down for a kill, so it is a pretty good play that Gala oh, just gonna oh, run down oh, soon. Gala just under turret outplays him! Oh my god, Gala! Uh, he might have overstayed now though. Vickler, he has the jump, he has the flash. Gallop, what's he do here? Does he execute what happens here? <laughs> Xiaoxi should, should not take it. this. You should have yep. given the kill over to Assume. I don't think that would have been execute. I think maybe he was worried that the time would go through. If they could have gotten that kill gold all the other runs. Perfect synchronization. But it looks like they just want to try to contest this objective pickup here. Mega Death Rocket goes through, but the dragon secured by RA. Here comes an engage on the Xiaoxi who's about to take another death. He's going to not go down after the flash of the burn. Oh, the bread damage. Through. The explosion there as well. And Assume picks up the kill. His first of the game as a charm comes through maybe baiting scouted ah, damn even though you feel like Shaoxi should have just been exploded as LNG looked to take first turret on bot side they did give a lot up for it but they have like a 20 plus CS lead for Gala and now first turret for him 575 smackaroos right there as hung uh, uh, buddy, you're on the wrong side of town here he's gonna pop his escape plan but he's gonna explode as Nio gets the kill yeah, yeah, that blast plant was not particularly helpful in that. It doesn't have any mobility, and Xiaoshu being so big is so scary. You look at that damage comparatively, like and you this? just can't do anything. Look at that! He's gonna all out him! Luckily, Hung is right there to try to save the day, as Zik is gonna pop dominance after the TP is in. Scout's still there to fight, but Xiaoshu's taking a 1v2! And he's a monster! He finally goes down! LNG strike on the other side, too! But here comes Vic Love to try to make a difference. The flash play flashed out of and here comes comes Vikla, big Vikla under turret. He's gonna rocket jump his way to safety. Unfortunately, Assume will go down to the death screen and it is chaos, Nymera. Yeah, you might think that the rift is green because of the chemtech. I think it might be turning red after that fight. Assume still has flash. He will not burn in the end. Death charge come through, Mega Death Rock. Couple ultis from LNG, but they get a lot of utility out of that because they can also take the mid outer turret. Let's now Gal is excited and the engage is coming through from LNG and it's about to get real exciting if you're a chillin as they try to single down Shaoshu, but he already gets the carry from Gala. They do end up taking him down and Weiwei will get his reset. So he becomes a big Belveth and LNG lose their carry. One uh, more than fine at this point. Where's Scout right now? He has teleport. The fight's happening. Where are the teleports coming? Here it is. There it is. He's right in the middle of the fight. If Hung can survive, that's really big. Assume's going to go over with the lightning crash. Gala's in a lot of trouble now. Vikla going over for him under tower here. And Gala's already gone. But you got to look at Scout. He's the damage dealer now. Shaoshu's getting low. He's going to all out his way out of that one. Scout oh, gets the locked down. He's going to go golden with the Seekers. And now Weiwei's going to town with his resets. But it's not enough. It's the double marksman composition coming alive for RA and they're gonna smack down LNG.
The first pick comes from Rare Atom, not from LNG, and the cleanup comes soon after. Dragon and Soul Point will go to the side of Rare Atom. Mid lane out of Tower will go to the side of Rare Atom. And reminder, folks, Rare Atom have already taken a couple of games off of some pretty big teams recently, particularly that scout, even though he had the stop push up, he just didn't expect that one to hit. You know, just to thread the needle all the same. What can you do on this Nord League? He might have just be caught out. Shame on him. <laughs> Or are they the ones caught out? No, it's, I think it's him. I think, I think it's definitely him. I think you cast or cursed him. But here comes Vikla to maybe get a little redemption arc for you. Shaoshu's coming in with the pincer maneuver on the other side as well. Charm does connect. He won't be able to follow it up any further. Had a chat about how LNG, they got the three out of turrets first, and that gave the map control all right. They slap back with that one fight, and they start off the Baron. The health bars just really aren't there, and it's not the Baron that RA won. It's the fight they want. Shaoshu's gonna go straight in on Nugala. He's fighting him too. Slice the dice his way. No, he does in the end. The triple knockback as well. And literally everyone but Scout is gone from LNG, and that's a big purple worm awaiting its master. Rayard have just won that fight with Assume just killing the jungler. They didn't even need their bolt lane AD carry to clean up the rest of the fight because they had another AD carry in Vickler doing the damage. Rayard have first kill to allow Jinx resets. Maybe that can work out for them. Shaoshu now caught out. 5v1. Shaoshu. Can he outplay them all? This is the entire fight of LNG being put his way and he does end up going down giving a reset to Weiwei and getting Gala a little bit excited. Chelsea, Scout goes golden though, fearing the engage from RA. Okay, so what's gonna happen here? This would be Soul for Rare Atom, but they don't have their front line. 35 seconds until Shaoshu's back up. The 5v4, Weiwei's feeling a little bit spooky. Hung goes in, just completely obliterated off the bat. As now that AoE started to come into effect here, Vikla wants to step forward. He blasts away. Double marksmen are going to cut down. Reset. And assume, has assumed the position of Carry Mantra. As he's going to get flashed on by Gala. He goes down. Gala's really excited, but Vikla's about to go in. No. Nayo, you've got to do it. Oh, it's going to be a <laughs> trade. Five for five. Everyone's down. <laughs> No one lives to tell the tale! Only no flash for assume and Vickler either. They're gonna go straight in. Charm connects on Shaoxi. Shaoxi's already going down. They need the resets. Gaul is excited now. Wait, wait, can't hit it. He goes down. Now two members are gone. And Vickler wants to step forward, but maybe he stepped too far. Gala is getting real excited. He's got shots on Assume. It's gonna go down all day long. As two kills go over to him, it's still Nio and Shaoxi up. They will focus the dragon. And a soul goes over to RA. Oh, Gala really wants to make another music video for this champion. Get Jinx! Quadra kill, double kill, late game Jinx on the board. It will be Chemtech Soul for you to not also be able to survive that play. So we've split sides of the map. LNG, they push up mid lane, which will give them an easier entrance into river, but they're still doing a blind. Once again, you can see. They burn it so fast. The it's going so fast. I mean, this is what happens with the double marksman here. Scout's just going to go straight in. He's going to be burned down to a crisp with the explosive. Now it's Nayo that already claims the bear. Things are falling apart for LNG here. Hung's going to try to get a re-engage in, but the rest of RA are streaming. Four punches are coming out, and deaths are coming through. LNG, they are gone off the face of this Summoner's Rift. Oh, rare Atom, they burn bright like magnesium. And this Atom has well and true jump. Gala could not position for the fight this time, and the multiple carries of Rare Atom storm towards the base. They are on the cusp, and they are gonna do it. That's a golden scout that's about to just be a golden statue now. As he goes down, RA strike first and strike hard in our first game of the final day of the regular season. Where has this Rare Atom been the entire split? Where we get a little bit of a more new age comp from RA here, where we have the rumble that was locked in for Shaoshu, and it looks like the Volley Bear jungle with the Rel support. So that crocodiles don't like uh, flamethrowers. Big set and, on fire. Uh, yep. <laughs> you know, I think we're finding that out. Although a hungry bear is gonna strike in mid lane again, you can't let the trash be out because Nio will take it. You know, not gonna find the kill, and Vikla actually has to be a little bit more careful there, as LNG are feeling the burn. Yeah, and Scout, he has done his absolute best to not die in this mid lane. And he has succeeded at that. But God, he's not getting much value for his money in this chase very early on. 
Um, I think uh, one of the big things which I had questions about coming into uh, that's an ult trying to catch up Big oh, This could oh, be good damage oh, here. You might just kill him. Wait, wait, Bramble smash to victory. First kill for him. But you have used it over your head to protect yourself from the rain. You need to bonk someone over the head as well as our right. Go down towards uh, the bot side of the map to see if they can do some bludgeoning themselves. But Weiwei is here. He doesn't have ult for the next few seconds. Scout's on his now. Oh, he misses the engage. That's actually so big. Now, RA takes full advantage of it. Nayo, he's going to flash out of the ham and the re engage from Shouts. He's big. Now, Victor is running rampant on the back line. And assume he's going to win his way to two kills. Here comes Zika, though. Can he make the difference? He's going to find one. RA is starting to walk away as Zika finds two. Can he get a third? Woo! There he is. But Viklo will stand tall and pick up everybody. It's happened again, Mazel! Everyone dies! Everyone but Shaoshu who sat there going like, what's going down on down there, folks? At all, folks, ever, actually, <laughs> thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, things you've learned from the LPL stream. Grab the wheel of the car you're a passenger in. Shaoshu uh... trying to be the driver in this play, but he's teleported on. Ooh, Scout's in a lot of trouble, though. He's heated up and he's going down. That's Scout out of the fight. And oh, RA, they are completely trouncing LNG's map movement as he's going to try a 1v3. Zika will be turned into some skin boots by RA. It's going to be Shao Shu. You know what's even more hilarious about that? Because Weibo on the team sat below them, Weibo will have gone from like 12th up to 6th in one week of play at LPL. Love they that. They would be the beneficiaries of this play. Now you've got the Herald, six grubs coming in towards this lane as well. You oh can see that Scout is, they, Scout is pushing towards top lane. They're trying to avoid this. Ooh, Vikla can't get the charm engaged. Depth charge coming through. Now Fate's call gonna be pulled, but they got the damage done to the turret, and now RA are out of there. Yeah, but Scout is still pushing top side. How much damage is he doing towards this? Is a full Ooh. inner turret. So, good extra value. What were we saying the gold lead was a little earlier? 4,000 into the bot side fight. But again, they are a composition that likes to come into a fight after RA are already there. Io off vision. He's called Scout! Ooh. He does get him. Now, Scout playing very safe. Here comes the slam down as now the real focus is on the Chelsea. Scout's trying to get away over there. Chelsea's going to go down. It's a trade through, but RA, they're looking forward to taking the rest of the members of LNG. Three fall for just the one. And now RA can force the Baron, potentially? I think they can. They have double Leandris and they have a Callista. This Baron speed is going to be very, very fast. But this whole play started off by that man in the jungle that we were just talking about. About the ambush dragon fight again this is soul for them there's the rend Being stacked up they want to pull it away from lng what have they got to play with no flash on scout they don't have the mark out just now but i think that without the equalizer ra they don't really want to pile into this they're being very careful Ooh. because they don't have their summoners right now Zick is looking on the other side. Now Shaozi's going down to the Chains of Corruption. Here comes that Nature's Grass. RA realize they don't need to give their lives for it. And it'll be the Dragon given over to LNG. Maybe they just take the lives of That's LNG instead. As Nio gets one kill, he stepped forward. Look at Vikla. He gets a big charm. Here comes the Equalizer on the way out. And that's a red carpet of death. As assume with the flank of the Callista. He's got insane, man. RA have completely trounced LNG. Where the hell did this AD carry learn that you better flank on this? We have ourselves that Sim HD flash going out to save Weiwei. But that'll just be a bit of a consolation prize. I, I appreciate our... I'm now kind of sad we won't see them until summer. This has been a great series from them. There's a corruption coming out here. Nio, he is moving out of there. Uh, Chelsea is pretty low. Okay, some of that poke really starting to hit here. Fate's call coming in. Zika has popped dominance. Is on a flank. RA need to find their way out of this one. As Nio is able to find an escape. Shaosu just gets taken out to a shutdown to scout on the other side. RA with an escape plan here out of the bot side of the map. I don't know if they can. LG have the cutoff. Oh, they actually turn on the hung. Okay, they get one. Vic Lee gonna flash out here. Nayo trying to stop the rest of LNG moving forward. RA trying to get out. Re here we go. Out from Chelsea, and it's starting to get chaotic, but LNG love it. They'll take a couple heads and now move into a bit of a fighting position here. Oh, it's an overstay from Rare Atom. We're positioning, but the dragon coming up now. RA want to force a fight before it it's here. Fight. Now, Weiwei is going to the hook. In case they actually got him. Assume is down. The Magnet Storm is not going to do anything in LNG. They have woken up from their slumber. The chillin' was hungry, and it smells blood.
Fantastic hook from Hong. It catches out Asum, who didn't have the flash. It comes up now. He wouldn't have had it for that fight. And LNG, two fights back to back. We'll make sure that RA are not going to cleanly walk away with this game. They're even in gold now. They're going to get themselves even an objective bounty beyond this. They have that because of the, um, the, the, the dragons being taken from Rare Adam. They're going to get themselves bot lane in a turret. Get themselves the dragon. Right from dragon to Baron and RA can't do anything here unless Nio can get a steal over the back wall. They will spot it out here. He can have an attempt. It would be a oh, big gonna be one. Oh, it's going to be a flip. As he's not going to be able to. He's locked down. He can't even get in the pit. That is the Baron LG and a furthering up. You can see they've woken up from uh, what would be a deadly slumber in the first, I guess, game and a half. Oh, but now Scout flash. maybe going to be put back into sleep as now he is completely out. And that is everyone sending his way. 950 smackaroos to Nio. Okay, so just at the wanted to try to catch Scout while he was looking for angles through the pit, but now they don't really Poke. have an angle. They will be spotted out. Vicla on the other side. The poke starting to hit on Shousi. Zika in the bush there waiting to go in. Dragon getting about half health. Shousey's going to give his ult there. Stormbringer coming in. Vickla's in the pit now. They try to get onto Gala, but they can't. And now RA's attempt has been rebuffed. LNG, they will find more. And they might even be able to clean house here. Shousey taken down. And now Shousey, the only remaining member, might be caught in some alcove gaming as a triple kill had come across for Scout. He might be looking for a quadra. Nice little flash, but there it is. Scout is an angry kitty. And they're going to flash in mid lane and try to take game two. She only needed to get one Nexus in this series to secure themselves a skip of that first round of playoffs and get towards the sixth seed. And they'll achieve that right here. Congrats. In this game as opposed to game one. Now the Belveth failed to clean up a couple of big plays. Lee Sin is much more mobile in the early game and has a lot more damage in the wave than uh, the Belveth. Uh, he had obviously a big clear going from bot to top, but uh, not able to put any pressure up there where RA Ooh. has. Oh, big catch out here as they will take down Chelsea. Oh, the anchor is going to be enough for first blood for LNG. The guy goes down and a greedy recall Save. upon it. He yeah, he just got six. See, RA were making a play bot side though. They collapse four onto LNG. Gala gonna get some decent damage out. Shalsi can't get out. Flash. And here comes Scout as well. Nice little knockback, but Shalsi will be carved up yet again for another dinner for LNG. Now Scout, Scout looking for it. Has charm available. Will end up hitting Vikla here. We got a flash out of the ankle. We do have the episode two of Telegrubbies coming up and Weiwei is going to face check the bush there. Charm connects, Sonic Wave connects, Kick connects, everything connecting. Mega Death Rocket goes a little bit wide there though. Maybe cast the first hit. Scout going in! Scout pulling oh. back! He's going to go down to Nio! Burns him alive! It is once again playing on the knife's edge and, and Scout... And for LNG. There's still a lot of time to turn it around. We do have a dragon coming up in sub 30 seconds. Uh, Nio's son seems to be side right now, walking towards Weiwei. Q lands on him, the stun's oh, missed. Weiwei. He's in a lot of trouble though. The hook comes through, the kick is there, and he's down. Gala's real excited. He's got a grin on his face, and now he's moving in. Scout's gonna hit the charm, and that's fried up beef for you. LNG go out in the lead. Ah, oh, Shousey falls again. He's also taking the bone plating, so we can kind of jump in a bit more aggressively. He's got hands on the bot side of the map and instead of Nio, but here comes Hung as well. He has Flash, and he's also playing. Yes, they flash can! Flash Vikla, Death Charge with the Charm, all that CC, baby, and Scout picks it up. Vikla not able to buffer out of that one. Goes down easy as you like. Shousi now kept in River. He has Flash. He's probably going to be forced to blow that one as well. Wait, wait, he's going to keep up the chase, but not for much longer. So keeps hold of his Flash. After down the all. enemy jungler before the dragon spawns, so... Hung, I'll take it back. I thought he was gonna just bail on the play on bot side. And now Vickler is left alone here too. He's probably gonna die. Dangerous moment for him. That's really unfortunate. And that'll be multiple catch outs now of him. He does get brought down. They're trying to give it over and Weiwei is the one that grabs it. Now RA with the counter play on the other side. That's gonna be the TP coming in though. Maybe they could get the play here. Shall see, he's down. Scout can clean this one up. Assume oh. is gone. That's going to be a double. And now Scout with all those spear rushes, he can move forward, but he doesn't know where Nayo is. He doesn't want to go just blindly into Melarange of Shaoshu. He only has a little bit of duration on the spirit rush left, and it's actually just one up. He could be in a bit of danger here, but Herschel plans Q3, Q3 does too, though. Scout, don't get killed by the solo here. He gets the solo. Nayo here flashes out of the charm. Scout trying to make a major play here for LNG. 
as they do end up fighting him anyways. Dio gets a big old amount of goal. That's a huge Shut shutdown. Down. It's a shutdown, but Scout takes a toll before he falls. Magic is getting an extra kill out of that. The return. Sorry, don't have a way of getting up there. They have to push out mid lane as well with Vikla. LNG looking for it. Nayo going to spot everybody Ooh. out. Ooh, Lollipop not going no off way. And now he's going to go wide with there. He goes down as well. Nice little resets here, though, for Gala, who's getting a little excited as uh, maybe trying to get that reset for him is the biggest portion for LNG. Now, oh, Zika, he's in there. And there's that excited Gala. Scout's going for it. Point blank. That's two kills. Oh, we're going to find him a third. And that's huge as LNG wipe. RA and go straight for the Baron. Gala stacks up, get excited, and gets red, red, ripping through Rare Atom. Baron's gonna go down soon after, and LNG after a hard, the hard. Of soon. It was 6,600 damage from Gala in the end, and now it's LNG with their Infernal yep. Soul gifted over to them. It's exactly what we were saying. RA, they have much less tools to get onto the, um, to the not the Kaiser, the Jinx. The turrets and snowball that into a potential victory here. So LNG gonna walk forwards. Baron buff still hit, taking down the inhibit. We'll just refresh that, get excited once again. There it is. He has the increased attack speed. Dude. These towers are not long for this rift. This is insane. As the rush from the six grubs helping them out a little bit, they will be rebuffed. I'll try to move down to the bot side. The Nexus hurts about half health there. He now just pounced straight onto Vicola. And RA, you gotta start singing your 07s and going down with the ship because Hell and G have roared to life in this series. They'll do a mini reverse sweep and they'll take down Chelsea for a little bit of beef to add on top of it. One more kill, two more kills. Gala's gonna buy three. Hell and G have found everybody. And they'll end the season in regular split at nine and seven and they are a tough opponent to be going up against in the second round of the playoffs. They buy themselves a ticket away from the first round outside of that brawl between the 7th, 8th, 9th and 10th place teams in the first round of LPL playoffs. We'll be seeing them directly into the second round against one of the victors of that one. We'll see how the bracket forms after this too. We have one last series to see how that will... These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.